And Trump's rival Ted Cruz and new running mate Carly Fiorina are also campaigning in the state. They went to Fort Wayne today in Allen County and so did Eyewitness News sending Mary Mills to see if their work is changing the minds of voters. It was Ted Cruz's first campaign stop in Fort Wayne, and he and Carly Fiorina wasted no time in firing up the crowd. I want you to commit everything you have because this is our country. We must take our country back. Even though Donald Trump leads by a wide margin and is close to clinching the nomination, Cruz told the crowd the race is far from over and the stakes couldn't be higher. Indiana has a national platform and a national megaphone. And I could not be happier to have this race decided using the Midwestern common sense, the good judgment of Hoosiers. Saying they're the only true conservatives running, Cruz and Fiorina continually worked at linking Trump to Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton. Donald is Washington. Hillary is Washington. It is the corruption that has sold us down the river. They are the system. They will not fight the system. And they will not fight for us. The big question, can Donald Trump be stopped? We heard repeatedly, it all hinges on Indiana, it is a must-win state for Ted Cruz. Back to you. Thank you, Mary Mills, reporting live for us in uh, Allen County tonight. Cruz biting back at former House Speaker John Boehner, who called the Texas Senator, quote, Lucifer in the flesh. Cruz responded by tweeting, tell me again who will stand up to Washington. Trump, who's Boehner's texting and golfing buddy? Carly or me? Former President Bill Clinton is returning to Indiana to campaign for his wife Hillary ahead of two days primary election. He'll be in Kokomo on Saturday. The former president was also in Indianapolis on Tuesday campaigning. And Democrat challenger Bernie Sanders returns to Indiana tomorrow to attend a rally and march in support of carrier workers that will be at noon at the Indiana State House. Those workers are losing their jobs because the company is moving its Indianapolis operations to Mexico. Another sign that Indiana matters in the presidential race. The state's high absentee voter turnout is surging. The Indiana Election Division says voters have submitted nearly 20,000 absentee requests so far. In context, that's nearly total the number of absentee ballots that was cast four years ago. But for the record, the standard set back in the primary dating back in 2008, that's when nearly 185,000 Hoosiers voted absentee.